Hi, I'm Bruce Isaacson, Clark County's Poet Laureate, and I'm here today with Carrie O'Connor. Now, Carrie has been one of the main movers behind the development of the SLAM team here, the SLAM, the whole SLAM scene. She's been at it for a long time, traveled nationally at, uh, at poetry slams and national competitions, and she's a key member of our current poetry slam team. So, Carrie, tell me what you think about the poetry slam, our poetry slam team, and uh, and how you feel about the slam community here. Um, I'm very excited about the slam team on uh, this this year, not just because I'm on it, but um, because we just have a jam packed full of talent this year, and I think we're going to do really well this year. And overall, it's it's really a product of the current slam scene, which is really flourishing right now. In fact, we have two slams going on in the city, so it's it's really kind of a reflection of the fact that we're doing really well just overall as a slam scene. Well, I know that's true because I was at the last Grand Slam poetry competition and the atmosphere was totally electric. And I ha I was lucky enough to hear this poem I think that you're gonna read. Yep. Will you give, me, give us a poem? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. This is called Vegas Girls. Yes. I'm a Vegas girl, but I'm not your Vegas girl. You will not find me on billboards and commercials or on those business cards for escort services with stars over my nipples. You won't find me in photo shoots, posing at pool parties in a bikini or partying at the club. You won't find me on the strip with my hair done up, my skirt at mid thigh heels pushing me to the stratosphere, no. I got a bar belly and a shy hand and I once ran the Las Vegas half marathon watching the walks of shame on the sidewalk and oh baby, if you've never been here, then you aren't missing much. But if you've never been here, then you're missing it all. You see, Vegas girls aren't supposed to look natural or give our sunsets away like they were daily mega bucks, jackpots, and Vegas girls aren't supposed to be poets. You forget this place is poetry. See, I once hiked Sunrise Mountain for five minutes of a view and a couple of pictures. Don't tell me this body ain't beautiful. See, Vegas girls will tell you that you sweating in 105 degree heat and complaining about it is sweet. See, my skin was forged in desert dust and red rock, seared in 300 days of direct sunlight a year, and this Vegas girl is not impressed with your insults about my city. Saying Vegas sucks is like saying dying sucks. Yeah, we know. But the thing is, Vegas doesn't suck. It raised this girl to tell her stories from the first female postmaster in 1884 to explaining to you why the city was better when the mob ran it. See, I'm a Vegas girl, but I'm not your Vegas girl. See, I'm not the one who thought The Hangover was a documentary. You won't find me sitting on the roof of some casino looking down in reverie. That kind of stuff will get you arrested, kid. You will find me in the lightning strikes of the fickle monsoon season, scarred knees from unpaved neighborhoods. You will find me in the dirt and the mountain and the everlasting blue sky, sometimes filled with buffalo ghosts. You will find me beautiful regardless of whether or not the lights are on. See, our oldest church downtown is dedicated to Joan of Arc. Don't tell me we don't welcome saintly women. Don't tell me you know my city based on a commercial or a movie or your one hour layover in our airport. See, I'm a Vegas girl, but not your Vegas girl. You will find her dust in my DNA and her lights in my eyes. You will find me beautifully battle-born from her patient sunrises and light show sunsets, losing count of the stars to bulb ratio and saying, don't shield your eyes from the sky because it's just as familiar as your own skin. That's great, Carrie. Thanks so much Thank for you. doing that. Thank hey, you know, I we have a, as you can tell, we have a great poetry scene here, which is at a zenith. It's out of it's it's going going up to the top. And I'll tell you how I know. Listen to all the events. May 20th and 21st, David Lehman, a top New York poet, is going to come out here. He's going to read <clears throat> at uh, Writer's Block at 7 p.m. on May 20th. On May 21st at 3 p.m., he's going to give a talk on something he's expert on, uh, Bob Dylan, the Nobel Prize, and the Jewish American Songbook. That's a congregation near to mid. On May 26th, we have an event with... Uh, Ariel Horton will feature the poetry, 18-year-old Poetry Promise Award winner who's won our, our best prize for a young student poet and will be celebrating the publication of Clark, an anthology of Clark County poetry. I'll do a reading as kind of my last event uh, as Poet Laureate. We have the slam happening on 2nd and 4th 
Fridays down at Publicus. Uh, the May 26th event is at Publicus. There's a lot happening. Look us up on Facebook. Look up the Battleborn Slam team. Hope to see you at Poetry.